Back now to our top story, this mass flooding taking place in the Balkans. 20 people dead. Uh, the worst flooding the region has seen in more than 120 years. We've reconnected reconnect with Yadranka Bugarski. She's on the phone and joins us now. Yadranka, just bring us up to speed on what's happening where you are. Uh, Errol, I am at this moment uh, at the entrance of the municipality of Obrenovac. It's near uh, Belgrade. Uh, the most complicated, difficult and dramatic situation was uh, actually in uh, Obrenovac. Around 20,000 people uh, uh, have been evacuated since uh, these days that uh, flood, the floods uh, happening and the, ev the evacuation is still going on. So you can't enter the, the town because the operation is uh, on the field. Still, the saviors, the firefighters fighter, are uh, rescuing people from uh, their homes. The uh, situation is a bit better because the water level is a little bit uh, lower, so they can come and reach to the people uh, from the trucks and not anymore only uh, from uh, the boats. The situation was uh, very heavy because people were around two or three days with no electricity, no food and no water at uh, all. We can now hear even the sirens because the ambulance is right now transporting uh, someone who was probably, probably trapped in their home for three days, as I said, with no food and uh, no uh, water. Uh, there was no mobile coverage in those days, so it was a very, it was a really, really big problem because people couldn't contact anyone. So the radio amateurs and even those on the internet really helped uh, help the people. But this is not over yet. We have a two new uh, flood waves uh, upcoming because all the water from the Bosnia and Croatia is now coming to Serbia, and now. There is still a uh, defense going on around uh, towns like uh, Trenska, Mitrovica, Shabat, and even Belgrade. At all. I mean, you're painting a very dire situation there, Yadranka, and we're looking at the aerial footage of the flooding around the Sava River. Um, the Prime Minister there has also said a dam has been erected, but it's only about 7.3 metres tall, and he warned it's difficult to predict what will happen if the Sava River continues to rise, which is forecast to happen today. Just tell me the status of, of, of the mass flooding and do officials have what they need? We're seeing them evacuate people on boats. A thousand were evacuated via helicopter. Do officials have everything they need to get to people at this point? Uh, Errol, uh, the Sava is uh, still going to, to rise and you know we are in the state of emergency for days. The rain was falling for four days. This is the first sunshine that we see in four uh, days. Now, uh, the lots of volunteers, people, everyone really uh, is, are trying to help and to defend the cities by making the bands of uh, the sandbags. So we're really uh, now hoping that th that would uh, help. I have to say that the PowerPoint plant was uh, jeopardized and people were, were without electricity because of that. And some parts of Serbia were, uh, were um, without electricity because of uh, their uh, safety. There is a place in Serbia called Krupanj that was cut off the, the whole of the world for three days without electricity, food and water. Water actually whipped, whipped off the roads and the bridges so people couldn't come to them. But now... The, the situation is a bit better and there, and people are collecting the, the help, the water, and of course the help is coming from all around uh, the Europe and the neighbors. Slovenia send their help, Austria, Bulgaria, pumps for the water, okay. uh, and, but they say they haven't seen such a flood in practically never in their lives. That's yes. the situation right now. So a now. serious situation. Um, people are helping. We're even watching some footage of communities coming together to make those sandbags. Listening there to journalist Yadranka Bugarski um, on the line with us in Serbia, really painting a serious picture. She's saying now 20,000 people evacuated, um, people without food and water in some places and even electricity. But um, again, officials doing what they can um, to help as many people as possible.